The community reads as follows. One, the East African Community Heads of State, Their Excellencies Evaristi Daishmiye, President of the Republic of Burundi and the Chair of the East African Heads of State Summit, Isaac Nidoheri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Our Excellency. President of the United Republic of Tanzania. His Excellency Felix Seshkedi Shilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo. His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Deng Arokuo, Minister of African Community Affairs, representing His Excellency President Savakir, President of the Republic of South Sudan. Held the 20th external meeting. To evaluate the current security situation in the Eastern, in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, the heads of state met in a cordial and friendly atmosphere. To the summit, received reports on the current security situation in the Eastern DRC from the facilitator of the ESC led Nairobi process and the force commander of the East African Community Regional Force. Through the summit observed that the security situation in Eastern DRC is a regional matter that can only be sustainably resolved through a political process and highlighted the need for enhanced dialogue amongst all political parties. For the heads of state directed that the political process be strengthened and escalated to involve all stakeholders. And five, the heads of state directed one, immediate ceasefire by all parties. Two, withdrawal, including all foreign and armed groups, and directed the chiefs of defense forces to meet within one week and set new timelines for withdrawal and recommend appropriate deployment matrix. And three, that this process be accompanied by dialogue. And four, violations of this agreement be reported to the chairperson of the Summit of Heads of State for consultations with members of the summit. The summit directed all troops contributing countries to immediately deploy and urged the Democratic Republic of Congo to facilitate deployment of troops from the Republic of South Sudan, Republic of Uganda, Burundi to the East African Regional Force. And seven, the heads of state reiterated their decisions at the high level consultative meetings and in different parts of the region, including Shamashe. Eight, the summit noted with appreciation the financial contributions by the Republic of Kenya and the United Republic of Tanzania and the Third the Republic of Rwanda and the Republic of Uganda for their commitment to contribute to the East African Community Peace Facility Fund.
Nine, the heads of state called upon all parties to respect and implement decisions of the summit and obligations agreed upon in previous meetings of heads of state and other established instruments in the resolution of peace and security in Eastern DRC. And ten, the summit reiterated its call to all parties to de-escalate tensions and to use established regional, continental, international mechanism to resolve any disputes in the implementation of peace in Eastern DRC. Eleven, the heads of state reiterated the need for implementation of the decisions and particularly the directives of the 22nd meet, meeting of the summit of the heads of state on security institution in Eastern DRC, directed all armed groups in Eastern DRC to embrace the dialogue, lay down the arms and join political process. And finally, the heads of state thanked His Excellency Varese Daishme, President of the Republic of Burundi, and Chairperson of the Summit of the East African Community Heads of State for his continued engagement and commitment towards supporting the people of Eastern DRC and the entire East Africa in pursuit for sustainable peace and security. Today, 4th February, 2023, Bujumbura, Republic of Burundi.